What's your style? My style? You can call it the art of fighting without fighting. Wouldn't it be great if we could do Arduino without Arduino? Without the need of purchasing all those electronic components? What if I tell you that there is a free online tool that would allow you to do just that? Interested? Then stick around. Tinkercad? You'd say, isn't that the online software to create 3D designs for 3D printer? It is, but if you look at the main panel, you'd see there is also an option to create electronic circuits. Let's create the most basic Arduino circuit, Blink Sketch. Just like for the 3D designs, Tinkercad assigns automatically generated name for your project. You can always rename it. We would need Arduino Uno. and LED, where anode of the LED will be connected to digital pin 2 and cathode would be connected to ground. If I press the code button, you would be surprised to see code building blocks rather than the code editor. You would be familiar with them, assuming you ever programmed in scratch. Tinkercad by default starts with a blink sketch, but this one will attempt to blink Arduino built-in LED rather than the LED we connected to digital pin 2. It sends the high signal to the LED to turn it on, then waits for one second and then send the low signal to turn the LED off and wait for another second again. We need to replace the blocks with the ones that will be sending high and low signals to digital pin 2. Now that this is done, we can test if the code works. And it does. LED is blinking, but what is the error displayed by the LED? It lets me know that there is too much current flowing through the LED. In real life, this LED would be toast. Not the case here. I realize now that I need current limiting resistor. So let's add it. I will test it again and this time the error is gone. Let's see what else Tinkercad circuit panel has to offer. Here you can toggle between different ways to display the project. We are now in the circuit view. We can change it to the schematic view in which you can see the circuit diagram. You can switch to the view which shows you the list of all the components used in this project. If you look closely at the code editor, you would see that so far we looked at the code blocks mode. But you can also view both blocks and the code behind them. You can also opt for just the code, but if you go this way, you would lose information about the code blocks you configured and you would be left with just text only. Let's make the project touch more complicated and add few more components. The idea is to control the LED by changing the light intensity around it. We can do it with the photoresistor. Apart from photoresistor, we would need additional resistor to build a voltage divider circuit. So we connect ground to one leg of the resistor, then the other leg connects to photoresistor and then goes to 5 volt pin of the Arduino. Then we connect Arduino to analog pin 4 to the spot in between resistor and photoresistor. I will not explain the concept behind this circuit here. If it is not fully clear to you, please watch my Arduino photoresistor tutorial. Now let's adjust the code. I declare analog pin 4 as input. I also start serial communication, so we would be able to see the reading at the A4 pin in serial monitor, if such is provided in Tinkercad. We no longer need lines of code that blink the LED. To start, let's just run the command to output the value read at the A4 pin with analog read command to serial monitor. I want to see if Tinkercad 
It will provide some sort of functionality to change the light intensity around LED and if it will also allow us to open serial monitor. Again on purpose I made a typo and you can see that it was detected by the compiler. M in pin mode should be uppercase. After changing this the compilation works fine. As you can see the serial monitor is opened and you can see the value read at the pin output each time the loop function runs. When I click on the photoresistor, the slider appears with which I can change the light intensity. The LED remains off as I removed the lines that were controlling it, but in serial monitor you see that the readings change. We get the range from 6 for complete darkness to over 600 for maximum brightness. Ok, so let's add the functionality to control LED with a photoresistor. We would need one variable declared. In loop function, we would read the value from analog pin A4 and save it to that variable. Then we would have if statement that would check the value and if it is below 300 the high signal would be sent to digital pin 2 to lit the LED. Otherwise the low signal is sent to that pin and LED would be off. I will also add the command to send the value of the variable to the serial monitor. Let's run the sketch and see how it works. You see that the LED lit each time the reading from A4 pin drops below 300. Let's check how the schematic view and components list view have changed. You can see that all newly added components are reflected in the circuit diagram and the component list. So we did the very basic project in Tinkercad. But would I be able to fully recreate one of my projects I posted on this channel in Tinkercad? Let's look at my project lists and try to pick one. The shift register tutorial should be perfect for this. This is the circuit we need to recreate in Tinkercad. And that is what I've done. Now we have a code that is displaying the sequence of digits from 0 to 9. Let's copy it and paste it to Tinkercad. Let's run it. And you see that we have a success at the very first attempt. So how do you like this Tinkercad tool? Tinkercad project prototype has the look and feel of working with real electronic components. I think it is a great way to start with Arduino. You can create few projects, test yourself and decide if Arduino is your thing without spending money on real components. This wraps up this short tutorial. If you enjoyed it, give this video a like. Also consider supporting my channel through PayPal or by becoming my patron. You will find all needed details in the video description below. I would like to especially thank Kevin Modero for his generous contribution. Thanks man. I will see you in my next video.